one of the oldest intentional communities uh, that, especially one uh, that is income sharing and resource sharing and aspires to be egalitarian economically and socially. Um, at the present, uh, we have, or we have um, 92 full members and about 14 children, uh, and uh, it's an economy and life based on sharing meals, sharing uh, material resources, uh, sharing in works, working in teams, uh, playing and, and socializing in teams. Uh, it's really great in that way. Uh, personally, I found my niche in uh, growing seeds for income, working on a seeds farm there. Uh, there's also a food producing garden on three acres, uh, orchards, a tofu factory, a hammocks producing facility uh, that earn income in a variety of uh, different and diverse ways. Your kidney stuff. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tripp. I'm uh, an intern at Acorn Community in rural Virginia. Um, Acorn is about 30 members and 10 interns or guests at any given time, about 10. And um, they've been around there, the little sister community of Twin Oaks, and they've been around for about 22 years. I think we're celebrating our 22nd anniversary in, uh, in a few weeks. So. Acorn has a seed business that is like their largest support called Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. Um, and it's like been in the Washington Post and it's kind of a big deal. And, um, and my work at Acorn basically can be whatever I want. Like I make it whatever I want. So I work in the seed office frequently and right now I've lately been working um, doing carpentry, building the stage for a big party that we're having in a few weeks. And Acorn is Egalitarian, income sharing, anarchist, eco groovy, feminist, and punctual. Super punctual. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Andrew. I live at a place called Wyo Utopia. Um, a guy named Alan and his partner bought the place in. Uh, it's a four-story apartment building on Jefferson between Bedford and Ocean. We have uh, potlucks every Thursday. Um, there's 12 of us. We are not income sharing yet. Um, there's one owner of the house and. It's up to him to make it happen, make it work, and it does for the time being. Stacy lives there too. We hope to be slightly more self-sufficient and sustainable uh, than we are now, but as of now, it's a great uh, place to do yoga, have dinner, come together. So everyone's welcome. And I used to live at the Brooklyn Urban Zong with Jamie over there. So um, that's us. What's your favorite piece of Utopia? My favorite part of Utopia? Yeah. Um, uh, I think there's a lot of people interested in playing soccer and getting outside and getting into uh, bed and being involved in the neighborhood and dinners and stuff like that. Where's my mom? She's visiting. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hi, I'm Raven. I'm with the Point A Project. We're the folks who are putting this thing on, but I'm specifically um, the point person for New York City now. I'm actually going to be living here. I'm a brand new New Yorker. But, um, but uh, if you're interested in helping create income sharing, egalitarian, com urban communes right here in New York City, come talk to me. You can finish early and, and pass it on if you I like. I think I will. Okay. <clears throat> So we are uh, ARC 38, Autonomous Resilient Community. Uh, we've been able to overcome the most impossible odds. Uh, uh, most of us met at Occupy Wall Street on uh, Liberty Square. Um, I've started We Will Outlive Money, but it's basically started as a foundational relationship of trust between an 85-year-old radical pacifist, Bill Henry, who is an extraordinary gentle being who in 1960 was on top of nuclear subs with a no nuke sign, served jail time, please look him up, he's extraordinary, but you can still come and visit him. And he has, he got, he got the land right next to the last train stop on the Harlem line. He uh, is uh, an incredible being, we've got maybe six full-time people that have been there over the winter this year. After three years as an organic non-entity, we are now a non-profit entity. We also have three levels of membership on the terms that are just now articulated, not from any pre-existing structure. There's three big barns, there's 188 acres, there's 36 acres right by the last train stop, which is a lot of great um, 
Beaver dams, come check it out. We got lots of uh, like. We can I just uh, somebody at the. <laughs> it's your say? toothbrush. You get to go long. <laughs> All right. Well, Terry, this is Miss Joni. She's a lovely. We strive to encourage each individual to reach their potential in a setting that offers natural stimulation with a foundation driven by permaculture, which can eventually revolutionize the way we farm and eat. That was from somebody in the community I wanted to read. But thanks. Come visit. Yeah. I am Willow Lily Dumpster Chopsticks, and I am with the Point A Project specifically in D.C., where we are looking to build urban communes that are egalitarian, income sharing, and ambitious and engaged. Um, and right now we have around six to eight people that are like core interested people that want to build a commune in D.C. We're really excited about that and are looking for more members right now. Um, and we are also scouting out spaces, so things are exciting. We're working a lot on the membership process, and things are really starting to gel. So. Looking forward to working more on the project and talking to you all. Um, I'm Gil, and I'm with Smiling Hogshead Ranch and, and the Flux Factory. I'm going to talk about Smiling Hogshead Ranch first. Do I get two? Or? You get okay. two. And then, because uh, you're wearing two hats. Ranch and wearing two hats. Uh, <laughs> Smiling Hogshead Ranch is an urban farm, a community farm in Long Island City, Queens. We squatted on property that belongs to the MTA in 2011. Uh, last year, we signed an agreement with them, and we're an official garden. Now um, we do tours with uh, school children. We work with nonprofit organizations to uh, offer jobs train green jobs training to formerly incarcerated populations. Um, we have lots of people, just regular folks, come out and help us compost and plant and garden. And uh, we have work days, and we have yoga in the garden, and we have fun things going on. Um, so that's happening, and I encourage you all to. Come be a part of it. It's a members member led volunteer organization. We are a nonprofit organization. That's how we signed that agreement with the MTA last year. And um, yeah, we're continuing on. We have big ambitions. We're going to take over more and more land as we go on. And we are hoping to actually break ground and possibly build some like shipping container complex on the railroad tracks there after they're decommissioned in a few years. Wow. Woo! Woo! Um, the no. Flux Factory, I am uh, currently the community organizing resident. I'm the only non-artist that's at the Flux Factory. Uh, it's a 20-year-old organization started in Williamsburg, was uh, priced out of the neighborhood uh, mm. 10 years ago, mm. and then they moved to Sunnyside and they got eminent domain out of the neighborhood. Now we're in Long Island City. Um, we are artist residency, we are a nonprofit organization. We have three, six, nine, or 12 month residency program. People who are interested in staying around can apply to become a community resident and extend their stay for two years, and they can definitely do that. There's uh, five uh, spots for community residents. There's 14 studios in total. Um, some of them are big enough for couples, so we range from 14 to 19 people. We have those studios, a communal kitchen, a rooftop space, a uh, shared office space, a gallery, a wood shop, and a screen printing studio. And um, we put on four major exhibitions a year. Each of our residents gets individual time in the gallery once they're there for six months. Fantastic. Cool. I'm Wolf with Cattle's Community. I'm just going to go ahead and read our abridged mission statement, which is that Cattle's Community is a forming eco-village and green business incubator and education center in Warwick, New York. Our energy positive residential and agricultural buildings will be visually inspiring and as ecologically friendly as possible. We aspire to share our lives so as to make the load lighter for everyone around food, finances, um, child and elder care, employment, and personal support. Various on-site cottage industries will support the members and community nonprofit to fulfill its mission to exemplify green living and help educate others who wish to build and live sustainably. And that our community is a catalyst for the change needed to live harmoniously on this planet. And also to say that at the moment we are working to buy an amazing 75-acre parcel of land and we are looking for members who want to join us. And it's 75, um, that 75 acres is located 75 minutes away, um, northwest of New York City in Orange County in uh, Warwick, New York. And we'll hopefully be within community distance for those that have to, but at least you can always come up and, and partake in our programming if you are not going to be a resident. My name is Jim. I live at Ghanas in on Staten Island. Ghanas was started about, uh, in about 1980, some friends, I think mostly were from New York originally, but they met, they got together in San Francisco, like six people. They formed a group in their 
purpose was to see if non-related people could live together and how they could work out their problems. And over the years, they, they worked on a process called feedback learning. Um, they, moved to, uh, they moved shortly after San Francisco, they moved to Manhattan. It was too expensive, they needed more space, they bought a house in Staten Island. They didn't intend to start a community, but it grew. And now they have eight houses, three businesses, uh, everything goes clo used clothing, everything goes used furniture, everything grows cafe and used books and, and records. About um, 30, <coughs> there's 75 people, about 35 work in the community, in the stores, and in things like administration, maintenance, uh, bookkeeping, housekeeping. There's five meals a night, a week. <laughs> a night, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I over? You're over, you're, on, you're done. Okay. Hi, I'm Jester Jamie. Many of you guys know me. You've been in my house before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's like a community masquerading as a, as a residence or a residence space masquerading as a community space. We're, we're not quite sure. The Zong's got a kind of bipolarity too, which, you know, you, you have to know to love. But um, recently, um, we, we've been we struggled over, since last time I saw you with the concept of pulling together a creative media incubator as a, um, a community inco income generating business um, or income sharing business. Unfortunately, in order to share income, you have to generate income, and we didn't generate <laughs> any. So it's just sort of a pipe dream with a bunch, which a bunch of stone guys around a water cooler have been talking about, but they never actually did. So we're back to the drawing board with the feedback loop. It's going to be rebranded as Positive Trace, and we're going to try it again sometime after my birthday in May with a smaller group of people who are um, more focused and less, I don't know, distracted, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, and on the, on the residential front, um, we just applied for law, law protection status and the judge ruled in our favor. Woohoo! Um, ow, ow! And there's stuff coming up this week. Tuesdays, a jam a lot, junkyard jam, and then Wednesday, we're probably going to have drum circles. So there's things happening at the Zong. It's all going to be word of mouth, very low, low promotion. Just So we're, the spring will open up and things will start happening there. Hi, my name is Abe. I am here mainly for our community, which is a ecological egalitarian community starting in New Jersey, North Jersey, which actually is now becoming two different communities, one in Northwest New Jersey and Sussex County, and one in Essex County, one being a larger um, rural community, farm-based community, and one being a suburban slash urban community, smaller community. And I'm also here for a few other things, but it's too much to say quickly, but there, um, but you can come up and read. There's our community, fair, the Fair Share Distribution Cooperative, Fertile Futures, which is a nonprofit organization, South Mountain Co-op, and Emerson Lilly Free School. And um, we are trying to start a, an egalitarian community that's consensus, um, that uses consensus decision making, it's permaculture based, it's a multi generational community that um, that supports, you know, families and elder care and has and would like to start a cooperative that connects um, intentional communities together in a distribution. Maybe it's the only person who's wearing more hats than uh, the <laughs> Gil here. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm James. I work with Insumi Collective. Uh, we have about five members. We are not uh, a traditional commune or community, but we are an experimental Dadaist art collective. We've been around since 2002. We tend to work behind the scenes, uh, not quite in the art world. In fact, we like to consciously hack the art world or kind of mess with the art world uh, as a social system. And our last two projects involved prison abolition, a project called Obulets, which is about uh, the MDC prison in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, where the US government kidnapped and tortured 85 people with no accountability, a story that very few people know about. And uh, we also work on other collectivist and commune projects, including Point A, and I work with Willow, Triple Threat, Moon Raven, Pax, G Paul, and the gang. Cheers. Ow! Cheers. All right, so you're now, you've now had the, the intro. Wait, wait. Oh! I wanted to say, no. Raise your hand. He's another person from Catalyst Eco Village. He's going to be wearing the sign that says, Ask Me About Catalyst Eco Village. So if there's too much crowding happening here, he'll be right over there. You can attack him over there. That'd be great. Thank you, sir. I want that. Yeah, sure. I'll share that.